In today's video, I want to talk about that former QVC host that's now selling Zapata jewelry. And if you're like me, you're curious about Zapata. What is Zapata design? Is it an MLM? Stick around, we're going to dive into that. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I hope you will like and subscribe. This channel does videos about different topics, and I hope it's things that you'll enjoy and encourage you. Subscribing to a YouTube channel is free. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next video is published. Now to today's video. I recently did a video about a former QVC host, Antonella Nestor. And in that video, I talked about the fact that she is still online selling jewelry, not at QVC, but she's selling for JTV and Zapata. I hope that you can join me. I'm so happy to be a part of the Zapata team. And you know, the other cool thing. Well, that's just a small clip from Antonella's own YouTube channel. I'll link that video below in the description of this video. I'll also link the description of the video I did about Antonella leaving QVC. Well, I mentioned in that video that I was unfamiliar with Silpata, and someone commented on that video and said they thought it was an MLM. MLM usually means multi-level marketing. Well, I was very curious, so I went online and did a little research about Silpata jewelry. It seems that Silpata was started by two friends that lived in Overland Park, Kansas, a suburb of Kansas City. Some reports say that these two friends were working out of their garage. It was 1997, and they began to sell sterling silver jewelry at in-home parties. Now, some reports say these ladies lived in Overland Park, Kansas, but some people say Lenexa. But if you're from Kansas City or have friends from Kansas City, you know that Overland Park and Lenexa are side by side, suburbs of Kansas City. But the story goes that these two friends' business grew and grew. It grew way beyond Lenexa and Overland Park. And in 2010, the ladies sold Zapata Design to Avon for $650 million. It's reported that in 2013, the ladies bought the company back from Avon for $85 million. Silpata Designs is a homegrown company created in Lenexa. Sales reps from all across the country who sell the jewelry from their homes are here in the metro. It all started when we met when our oldest daughters were in first grade and they're now, what, 34, 35, 35. After a brief period under Avon's ownership, now Bonnie and Teresa's daughters, also best friends, are co-presidents of the multi-million dollar company. So Pot is now back in the hands of the families who started it, found it, grew it, and continue to love it. They make us proud and it kind of brings tears to our eyes because yeah. it's our daughter. I know. They were passionate about Kansas City. We were founded here. Our families are still here. This is our home. And so Pot will always call Kansas City. Three years after buying back its company from Avon, Silpata announced that they would begin the process of closing. Breaking news, Lenexa-based Silpata Designs is shutting down after 19 years. The company, which sells jewelry and other accessories, notified its sales reps just today that the business will be closing July 31st. The board of directors made the call after declining sales. And we just got a statement from the company that says, quote, while we are deeply saddened, we are indescribably proud of the impact our employees and Solpata representatives have had on others. According to Solpata's website, there are more than 25,000 Solpata representatives across the country. They will continue to sell products until the end of July. Solpata always hosts that big convention every year in Kansas City. They have one scheduled for July at Bartle Hall, according to the convention center's website. And we called the convention center today. They told us they had not heard yet if that will be canceled. Take a look at this footage I found on YouTube of one of those Silpata conventions held in Kansas City. 
Well, it does look like these ladies were having a lot of fun. These conventions look like a lot of fun. I think these were the ladies that were selling the Silpata jewelry at the in-home parties. They would come to these conventions, I guess, and get to see what the new line was going to look like for the next season. Silpata did close its doors in Lenexa in August of 2016. But in November of 2016, Zapata was relaunched under new ownership. It was Ridgeland Group Incorporated. Antonella Nestor, who was a host on QVC and would sell a lot of jewelry for QVC, is now selling Zapata jewelry on Facebook and YouTube. I think what you do is she gives you a code. I think it's like go.sapata slash Antonella, and then you can buy from her page. I think if you go to her website, you know what? I'm going to put a clip of her video right now and let her explain to you how she's selling for Sopata. To talk a little bit more about um, what I'm doing with Sopata. Um, listen, it was just time to pull myself up by my bootstraps. Whereas Jean Weiss would say, my bra straps. <laughs> um, the thing is, is you guys carried me when I couldn't. And, and now I'm strong enough. Now I'm feeling really good. I'll be getting more test results back, but my initial blood work was really good. I'll get the PET scan and I'll get the um, mammogram and we're gonna do some genetic testing, but that'll be in a couple, in a month or so. Um, but. I feel strong and I feel so loved and prayed for, and that is all in thanks to you. So why Silpata? Um, they're philanthropists. When I looked into them, I saw that they give proceeds to um, juvenile diabetes, COVID relief, women's breast cancer, as you'll see with one of the bracelets that I'll be featuring on Saturday. And um, it was tough for me to find someone to hire me because I'm, old, bald, and sick. And so Pata said, no problem, come join us. Number one, you get a discount on everything you buy as an Antoinella insider. And full disclosure, I get commissions. Bah! Well, that's only small snippets of Antonella's video. But if you want to see more of Antonella and buy some Silpata jewelry from her, check out her YouTube channel and her Facebook page. I will link the video that I'm taking clips from here in the description below. So you can click on that link and watch the entire video. Well, as I said earlier in this video, I had never heard of Silpata jewelry, so I haven't ever purchased it. But if you like jewelry and you want to help out Antonella, go to Silpata's website and use that link she talked about where she'll get a commission on what you buy. And I did find out that I think as that company was closing in Lenexa, Kansas, the assets were purchased by Ridgeland Group, a company or corporation owned by Warren Buffett. Well, thanks a lot for watching today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.